how can you tell the regional specs of a vehicle? So if you're buying a car and you want to buy a GCC spec car, how can you tell? Can you tell by the Malkia or the gold registration card? Technically, yes, because if the car is imported from another country, the engine number will be nil and there'll be no number there. But is there another way looking at the car to find out? Come with me and let me show you. The first thing you want to do is open the driver's side door and you want to check the driver's side door card. Now here you'll see a plate. It might be higher up, it might be lower down. But if you see a chassis plate and it has Arabic writing on it, that means the car is built for the GCC market. You might want to take note and not get too confused because if it says something like this car made in Hungary, that doesn't mean the car is Hungarian specs. This car is built for the GCC. Now, if you look further down, some cars may even have additional information. For example, this car actually has a toll-free number in Arabic as well, and it says applicable only within the UAE territory. This means the car is GCC specs. Another way that you can tell the car is GCC spec is by checking the side mirrors. On both the driver's side and the passenger side, you'll see Arabic writing. That means the car is built for the region. Now, on some cars, there may be exceptions to the rule. Some might only have it on the passenger side, but not the driver's side. This still means the car is GCC spec. The next one, you want to check inside of the car. So slot yourself into the driver's seat and have a look forward. And take a look, a close look as well, at the gauges. In older spec vehicles, this is manual, and you don't need to turn the engine on. But in newer cars, turn it on, and if you see kilometers, this is a good indication that the car is GCC spec. While there are some countries, including parts of Europe and Canada, that use kilometers per hour, US cars have miles. And now for the more obscure ways that you can check for a car if it's GCC specs. Open the navigation and see if you can navigate around the United Arab Emirates. If you can't do that, then the car is most likely imported. Now here's an even obscurer one. You can actually check via the radio frequencies that the car offers. If you don't see your favorite radio stations in the UAE, then the car is most likely imported from another country. So those are some pro tips on how you can check if a car is GCC specifications. Let us know in the comment section below if you want to know more helpful tips about cars.